so a here a is a I mean a is 1 b is 2 c is 3 so for any values that have that go across like horizontal like we're going to give um, those, those are actually like values that are any like if they match those are values that are that are actually um, that can actually win the game so we need to write we need to uh, make the program realize that these values actually uh, if, if they match one two three four five six seven and nine if they match horizontally they actually win the game so we're going to do we do, we're doing that using for loops so uh, for a is less than and greater than seven so that seven is here b is less than equal to eight C is less than or equal to nine. Yeah. So uh, the increment will be one, two, three, plus three because it goes from one to four to seven. So those are increments of three. So we need to tell the program that. So in case this is to happen, writing code that will make the program um, actually uh, it will make the program realize the, the value and um, like actually realize that the, um, like it's it's horizontally they horizontally match this way so um, We're going to just, we're going to say if if they actually do much because this a represents this ID here one it goes through nine and this post ID has a value of either x or o so uh, we're going to use an if statement to to match whether these values they actually uh, they actually are uh, match horizontal Okay, so we have an error here. It says unexpected equal signs. Hmm. Okay. Let me see what the problem is. Um. <clears throat> so if these match, 
that now is going to post A is equals to post B and post B is the same as post C. We're going to um, we're going to actually create another if statement. If post A is equals to X. wins should be true else if this equals to y then or rather o then o wins Okay, so basically this just um, tells the computer that there was a match in case any of these uh, any of these values matched and that would indicate either X or O has won the game. So that's for the horizontal. So we're gonna have to do vertical as well. And we also have to do a uh, cross 159 and 357. So, uh, to save time, we're just going to paste, copy, and paste this. Okay, so since we're doing it um, vertically now, so it should be 1, 4, and 7. Those should be our first numbers. 1, 4, and 7. And uh, the, the increments are 1. So like 1 to 2, 4 to 5, 7 to 8. So, uh, the increments should the, the um the maximum should be three six nine. So we're just gonna substitute values here three six nine and the increments will be on one okay the increments here are one three six nine one four seven okay so next we're going to we're going to do the cross one with one five nine three five seven one five nine so one five nine um Basically, the one five nine one five nine. Okay, let me change this. One five nine and three five seven. So, so one five nine, one to five, those are one, two, three, four. Those are four. Actually, five doesn't change. 
but yeah those are four increments and one five nine hmm. Actually, these are two increments because from 159 we go to 357. So, this is two increments to three and two decrements to seven. I don't believe five alone. Okay, so, so B is five, decrement of minus two. and increment of plus two so one five nine um this should be three maximum here should be five and maximum here should be nine okay Okay, now that we've done that like the com like the program now knows what values actually win the game we can now um, complete the form so if post ID is equals to X or post ID is equals to zero Yeah, we for, I forgot to close this, so we have to close. Have to close this um, element. It's a HTML element that we opened here. We have to close it here as well. Um, next, the next thing we need to do is to um, if print okay if. Post ID is X, ID is O, else, error is true, okay. Okay, if, so this says if, if it's, if the form has been submitted and it is not empty this happens all this that I created so I need to create an else statement that says if 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 this is not empty something needs to happen which um, which is basically to cr to close the the input elements because there won't be any values so I'm going to close the input elements. Okay, so we're going to um, close the form now. So this is for loop, okay. I'm going to close the form. And we go, we're first going to create um, a submit button. So uh, actually we'll use a paragraph input. Okay, so we're going to refresh. Um, actually, that's the old one. Now we're we're going to just run the program, see how far we've we've got.
Okay, there's there's something added here that shouldn't be shouldn't have been there. Okay, but this should have not been there. Okay, so it's working fine. Now we need to uh, we need to uh, create um, feedback just in case uh, um, the values are entered correct. The the program can warn the user or let the user know. So um, we're 